Hello, in this class, we are going to learn how to use a theme from a predefined list of themes that Power Apps already offer us, so we don't need to configure all the colors of all the elements one by one in case the colors we want in, in our app already exist in those options. Let's go to the class. Here in the top, we see when we, when we don't have anything selected, we see this theme property right here. And we can click and see that Power Apps give us a lot of themes already with some pre-configured colors and we can choose one of them. So for example, let's say our app is going to have a purple color as the main color. We have this purple, purple theme here, purple off theme. And here in the top, we also have this lavender theme. I'm going to go to the very bottom and choose this purple one. Once I click, it will change in the app several properties in all the elements and the main color now will be purple. For this button that I just configured myself, that I changed the properties, it doesn't work because I already changed. But if I insert a new button right now, so if I go to insert and then find here the button, it will come already with the new theme that I just selected. So if I just drag the button here to the bottom, play the app and hover over it, it shows a different color that's uh, purple, a little bit lighter than the original one. And if I click, it also has its own configurations. So I liked this way this theme is presented and let's continue with this one so we don't have to worry a lot about configuring all the colors of the buttons as we just saw. The same, will, the same will happen to other elements. If I insert a text input now, it comes with the new theme. And if I play the app, I see, for example, that the border changed to a purple color when we select the elements. So all the app has adapted to that theme and that helps a lot when you're building your first apps and we don't want to worry much about configuring every detail of the style of the elements. This video is sponsored by the support of my subscribers who like and comment on the videos. This class is part of a full course I have on Udemy where I teach beginners how to build their first apps. So if you want to ensure lifetime access and see the entire course, I suggest you to join me on Udemy. If the course isn't for you, that's okay, but I kindly ask you to show your support by liking this video and subscribe to this channel. Your engagement means a lot to me and motivates me to continue creating valuable content like this. Now let's get back to the class and continue learning together. So now let's get rid of these two elements we just inserted before applying the new theme and let's continue with this button. So here we have this button. Let's change again the text to the find contacts text. So find contacts. And let's see one last property for this class. That's the border, border configuration. Right below the color, we have the border configuration and we can change the border, border style. It can be dashed, dots with no borders or solid. Let's keep it solid. We can configure the border thickness. In this case, it's two. We can change, for example, if I put 10, we'll have a very thick border, but let's keep as two, it's fine. And we can also change the border color. In this case, the border is white when the button is on its normal state. And if we look now here in the bottom, we have some other configurations when the border is pressed or on the hover state. You can change if you want, but let's keep this one. And we also have the border radius. The border radius, by changing the border radius, we can make the button rounded. So for example, now it's zero and the button is completely completely square. But if I change, for example, to five, we will have some nice borders on each corner of the button. 
You can also change individual borders if you select the button and then go to the properties here and we have one property for each border. Let me just find here is in the radius property. So we have radius bottom left, bottom right, top left and top right and you can change individually. Once you change here in the border radius, it will apply to all of the four borders. Usually we have all the borders with the same radius, but you could change if you want to do something different. Now that, that we saw all the properties that matter for this part, let's insert a second button that has the same style of this button. Since we configured some things here, for example the border, we could have configured more things we can just copy this button instead of inserting a new one so we don't need to configure all again. So I could do a Ctrl C, Ctrl V right here and then just change the text property of this new button to new contact, for example, that will be the other button. Now let's just distribute this better position here more to the bottom and delete this text input I inserted to explain something before and we have our screen in the next class i'm going to talk i'm going to talk about renaming the elements so we have better names and also give a tip regarding design and standards so see you in the next class